Hey there, how are you? It's Robin John of Rosenhouse. I'm so happy to be here with you as always. All right, so we have today's, um, what is this, energy report. <laughs> March 7, 2022. Uh, <laughs> you would think I just woke up. I did not. I've been up for hours. I didn't even, I didn't sleep last night. That might be the problem. Anyway, I uh, don't normally come to you with a message that says, you gotta push through. You gotta, you know, all that like real motivational stuff, right? Um, you know, all that, that rah, rah, uh, coachy, coachy stuff, but that's kind of what the energy is for today, actually. So here's the deal. There are two, two possible scenarios for today's energy in how it could show up in your your life okay and so the first one is you've just got a shit ton of of resistance you know what needs to be done and you're just like i don't wanna <laughs> i don't wanna i i know i have to do a b c and d and i just don't wanna i'm oh, sorry I'm trying to this is the problem with seeing yourself is that you can see where everything is all crooked. So let's just go back. So you just might not feel like you want to, okay? That's the one way. The second way is that you just might feel dreadfully, dreadfully stuck, okay? And that causes you to, again, lose hope and, and that whole thing. So what I want to say to you about today is it's it's definitely a day for you to push through to uh not give in to the the i don't want us and the i feel stuck and all those other kind of voices in your head right that are trying to keep you where you are trying to keep you from reaching your dream your goal your desire all of that most of it is programming. You know, you might feel like you're on the, the edge, like you're on a precipice. Um, and that precipice might be scary. Like it might look like if I take one more step, I'm going to fall off. But that's not the energy of today. Today, is, the energy is if you step off that precip precipice, there's a hidden step below so you're not going to step out into like thin air into some kind of a free fall you will discover that next hidden step which is a key step in the actualization and the realization of your goals dreams and desires so it's really important it's really important for you today to, it, it, it's, <laughs> I have a, I have a, a saying and it says, I'm, I'm unavailable for my own bullshit. And, um, that's kind of where you want to be today. Don't be available for your own bullshit. Don't be available for the stories that, you know, your mind is going to try to tell you about why you can't do this, why you can't do that, why this is wrong, why that's wrong, all of, all of those things. It's just, it's literally the day to push through. And, you know, and it's interesting because um, as I'm talking to you, I'm realizing that I've already experienced this today. Um, and so I'll just share a little bit so you can just kind of see an example of one of the many ways it can show up for you. So I have been um, on this exercise journey and weight loss journey, and I've been, you know, talking about that. And so I have been um, working really diligently at 
uh, right now while the weather is nice, getting out of the house to take a walk and um, early enough to be back by uh, my, my nine o'clock mastermind. And so last night I did not sleep at all. I was dealing with anxiety and all kinds of stuff. I, um, you know, menopause. And so I, I miss, um, miscalculated how many, how many of my hormone pills I had left. And, um, lo and behold, I forgot about them or not forgot about them. I ran out of them and shock of shock yesterday was like the first day that I ran out and I ended up last night, like dealing with anxiety. It really took me aback. Um, so I did not sleep like, you know, 15 minutes here, 10 minutes there. It was one of those nights. And, you know, so this morning I was, man, in really bad, bad shape. And, you know, David and I were talking and, and, and I was like, looking for excuses, you know, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm this, I'm that, but I know I do better if I walk without eating, but I'm hungry and I didn't sleep. Wine, 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 wine. And, you know, so we kind of talked about it and David went into his office and went to work and, um, I finished my coffee and gave myself some time and got my butt out the door and didn't stretch, didn't do anything like that. And those first, I don't know how many steps, they were hard, man. They were really, really hard. Even though it was gorgeous out, even though I had a good workout on the whole thing, they were really hard. And I was thinking about walking back home. But I pushed through and made some adjustments to my route, but I pushed through and I completed the walk. And it was actually one of my best walks this week. My stats were, pretty, were like, I went the farthest I've gone. I went the fastest that I've gone. And... Um, and when I got home, like, you know, yeah, I was hungry and everything, but I felt energized, right? So this is just like one of those ways where I'm talking about push through. If your nervous system is completely shot, I, I never recommend pushing. I recommend gently. <laughs> Gently encouraging. <laughs> See if you can encourage yourself a little more to, to move forward. But if your nervous system is not shot, um, and also if you are not being mean to yourself, this is appropriate. If you're being mean to yourself, then you need to find another way of pushing yourself. I want you to encourage you um, as if you were encouraging somebody that you're uh, responsible for their healing. If you're responsible for somebody's healing, you're not going to push them. You're not going to be mean to them. Like you'll push them, but you, but it's more of an, an encouragement. You're not going to be mean to them. You're not going to sit there and say, "Ugh, you can do better than that. What you're going to say is just put one foot in one more step. Take one more step. Let's see what happens. So if you are mean to yourself or if you are, your nervous system is shot, I want you to treat yourself that way and, and see what happens for you. You're going to start to trust yourself more. You're going to trust yourself to have your back more. You're going to feel more confident. You're going to have more self-esteem. You're not going to be afraid of yourself. We are often, um, you know, and many of us have been abused and we are often mimicking to ourselves, um, exactly what the, the abusers have done to us. So check yourself. To see if you are doing that. 
really important for you to not. <laughs> you know? Um, and even if you ha weren't somebody who was abused, make sure that you are not abusing yourself in the name of encouragement and pushing. You can push without being mean. So again, that's why I say you want to treat this as if you are helping somebody along that you are responsible for helping them with their healing. It's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, and when you get overwhelmed or when you feel yourself starting to get overwhelmed, rather than push yourself into burnout, into exhaustion, into, you know, nervous breakdown energy, right? Into chaos and all of that. Stop and find your center. Take a break. It's okay to take a break. Get your wits about you and then keep going. It's like these walks that I do. What we do is, um, because I'm so out of shape, the ones that I'm doing right now are we start out kind of at a stroll kind of a thing. And then we do these intermittent bursts of like, walking fast enough like you're trying to catch the elevator before the doors close. And then we do a recovery period. And then we start walking fast again. So that might be what works for you in terms of the pushing. But, you know, the other thing with the pushing is um, it, it, it's interesting because, you know, I pulled the cards and two elephants showed up right next to each other and that usually doesn't happen. And so I went and I, you know, looked up, you know, animal totem to see what stood out, you know, because I know there's like loyalty and intelligence and, and things like that, but it was also perseverance. It was also talking about how those elephants with their tusks, they can give that steady, 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 steady push to get the obstacles out of their way. Right? So that's what we're talking about. It's not, it's not like this brute force to just, it's a steady kind of a thing. So that allows you to use your full power without burning out because you're not exhausting yourself with this violent kind of smash through. So I hope that, hope that makes sense to you. Um, one of the ways that I can help you get rid of those blocks faster and easier than before is with an energy clearing. They are up on my website and they're called demon extractions, actually. Um, get the crap out of the way. Get as much out of the way as possible so that you're not wasting your time and your efforts on stuff that needs to be cleared that, you know, don't necessarily require you to do the clearing. You know, let me do that. Let me do that so that you can spend less time on that work of getting shit out of the way and more time on taking the actual actions that you want to take, right? And bringing in those goals, dreams, desires, achievements, all of that faster and easier than before. <clears throat> working smart, right? Sometimes working uh, smart does include working hard and perseverance, and it also includes recognizing what you can, um, what's the word, hire out, <laughs> what you can delegate. So delegate it to me. I'm... <laughs> Let me tell you, I am good at that. <laughs> I am really, really good at that. It's, it's hysterical. I'm, I still, I still get, um, such joy when people are like, oh my God, Robin, 
<laughs> this was amazing. Like all of a sudden I'm raising my prices and people are buying, you know, I was afraid to raise my prices for years and years and years. And like, I just more than doubled them and people are buying and I'm making more money than before. You know, that's the coolest thing. And like, and other people are like, I'm doing stuff. I don't have to fight myself to get it done first. That's like game changing. It's really, it's, it's, ah, it's amazing. And it's an honor to be able to do that for you. Anyway, so go check that out on my website. Go sign up. We'll have a chat after you sign up. We'll talk for about 30 minutes so I can get really clear on, on what it is that you feel is blocking you, where it is you're trying to get to, what kind of clarity you need. And then I go off and I do the clearing. And then all you have to do is listen to it. How does it get any easier than that? I mean, come on. So that's up for today. It is a gorgeous day out. David is off. It's Monday. So I'm going to finish this up, take care of a few things, and then we are out of here today before the weather gets crummy. <laughs> so have a wonderful afternoon or evening. Remember, this energy is relevant for whenever you catch this video doesn't have to be Monday, March 7th, 2022. It could be any day. And finally, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. Bye.